Hi everyone, Kev Muldoon here. As you can see here, I have a very exclusive fancy watch here. It's my little Casio watch. Now, a lot of people wear expensive watches and I'm someone, I used to wear a lot of expensive watches as well. Not too expensive, I think. I had the Seiko Kinetic kind of watch. It was worth several hundred pounds I bought from Japan. I ended up giving it to my little brother because I just didn't really do anything for me. But for some reason, I love these retro Casio watches. I love these little basic Casio watches. The cheaper, the better. And I don't know if it's just because I had these when I was uh, a kid. I had the, the calculator watch. I had, you know, the little basic digital watches. And I just love how flexible they are. These things last for years. The batteries last for about 10 years. They're water resistant. And they're so cheap that if you lose it or you break it, you just buy another one. And I was using this one for everything. I was using it for running. I was using it for, you know, timing when the pizza was ready in my oven, things like that. Now, I went out, I got a, a running watch a few years ago, so I still use this for running. I don't use a, a watch as much as I used to, but whenever I need one, this is what I do. When I was backpacking, I used to strap this to my bag like that, and then I, I could just check the time whenever, I, you know, whenever I had to, but I didn't have to wear it. Now, this watch is fairly cheap. I've just looked on Amazon there. The model number of this is, you see it, the W591VQES. It's just advertised as Casio Men's Digital Watch. In the UK, it's £9.20. I think I paid about four or five pounds for it, and I'm not even sure if it's real. I bought it in South America, but it's lasted about three, four years already, and I think it's a great little watch. Now, I was had a conversation with my girlfriend about this and how I love this little watch, and being the good girlfriend that she was, she went out and bought me the blinged up version. This is the Casio E E one five nine W G E A, I believe. That's what should be on the back. E159W. And you can see here. This this is luxury, folks. This is what this is. I'll just zoom out here if you can. Now, the watches are almost identical as far as using them. They're almost identical. See if I can get them here on the screen at the same time. Right. They work the same way. This is impossible. Try it. Right, okay, here we go. Um I've nearly got them at the same time. Basically, you've got your time here, your date, and all that in the front. You've got your alarm that you can set, and you know this is the classic Casio. You can set the alarm, you can set an hourly beep. Uh, you've got your stopwatch, which I do actually find useful, and that's how you change the time. Changing the time is really easy. You you click there, and then you just push this one up here like that, and then you push this bottom right one to change the time. And that's it. It's actually got a lot more functionality than the watch I had that was £700. You know, that was a chronograph and it didn't have a stopwatch or anything like that. The backlight is... Let me see this one. If you see the backlight, look at that. This, as I said, it's the A159W. In the UK, this is £9.20. This one's actually about £29. So it's a lot more expensive, but you can tell where they've spent the money. Look at that. Um... You can see the flashing light in this one. Disco time. That's where the extra money's went. You've got the gold and the disco lights. Um, as far as watches go, I mean, some people spend a huge amount of money on watches. The most I've spent is about £500 when I bought that watch in Japan, but it's now worth several hundred pounds or even a grand because it was appreciated. But it really didn't do anything for me. Um, and I don't know why. I just, I just love these smaller retro Casio watches, uh, just something about them that I like. And again, it's perhaps because I had them when I was a kid. The only real difference from this, as far as functionality goes, like you can see here that the, the um, I'll get it in here. Now on the actual um, front, the writing's a little bit different on both of these, you know, as far as what says, you know, it's got water resistant 50 meters and things like that. But as I've shown you, it's the exact same functionality there. The only difference is, the real difference, apart from that one being solid 24 karat gold, no doubt, is the fact that this one is like a sports strap. So you can do that. I prefer that most of the time because, as I said, you know, I can strap this to my bag 
and I can quickly check the time. And again, these things are so cheap, it doesn't matter what happens to them. This one is a clasp because this is a luxurious watch. The clasp, it's not amazing to be honest, it, it kind of feels like it's going to come away sometimes. Um, and how it works is you, you, you flick this little thing open and then you can slide this up and down. It's a little bit fidgeted, um, but you flick that open and once you've got it to the area you want, you flick it back and then that's, you know, you don't have to change any links or anything like that. So really, yeah, if I'm doing anything adventurous, this is my go-to watch. If I'm out and about, this is my luxurious solid gold watch that only billionaires can afford. Um, actually, I really love both of them. I really do. I don't know why, as I said, I keep saying this, but I'm, I'm a kind of geek when it comes to things like this. I just love the simplicity of these things. I love that they've got a stopwatch and I'm loving the fact this has got disco lights. Superb. So, in this battle of Casio micro machines, it's hard to call a winner. Um, this is three times more expensive, but you can see where they've spent the money. You've got the disco lights, you've got the solid gold strap. But I like this one as well, just for the strap. You know, um, I actually used to, uh, as I said, I mentioned at the start, I used to wear this before I got my Garmin running watch, but I did actually do that. I, I used to just use a stopwatch. I would do a three mile run, and I would what I'd do is time myself, and then I got to the point where I, I, re I looked down at the watch and I go, Right, I'm at this point, I should be at 15 minutes or I should be at 14 minutes or I should be at, And I kind of worked out how far along I should have been. Obviously, it's not as good as a GPS watch that can track everything, but if you're just doing a short run, a couple of miles, you don't really need a GPS run, really. Um, so there you have it. This is the Casio... I'll just tell you the model number. This one is the W5N. Ah, there it's there. I'll get this. Can I zoom in? to get it in focus w5n it says on the back w-5n yeah w-5n and this i think this thing will focus come on focus this one is i'll check one is the casio e159 e159w there's a couple of different variations about this, and you can get them cheaper if you if you look around. I think they're really good. As I said, I've had this one for four years. Never had any problems with it. I think it's fantastic. It's water resistant. You can wear it anywhere. This is obviously with your suits and your your uh, fancy dress. This is for out and about. Can't can't fault them. Both work well. I've had lots of other Casios in the past as well. You know, I've had the ones where they timers and, and you know the bigger ones but I, I just love the simplicity of these ones and I think they're cheesy they're, they're kind of cheap but I like them and I'd rather spend my money on these things and spend several hundred pounds on a watch like I used to this is a luxurious one I like it so if you've got a watch like this I'd love to hear from you Um, I'd also love to hear if you know of any other classic little Casio watches there's lots of variations of these watches Um. But again, they're just variations. I mean, really, the, the functionality is the same in most of these Casio watches. It's really just slightly different straps or a slightly different face. The only one that's really enticing me to get something else is the calculator watch. It's not needed. You've got a calculator in your in your, um, in your phone, obviously. But I, I think it's just because I had one as a kid that is really making me want to get one. Uh, that the calculator watch is a Casio CA53W1 and <laughs> it's completely cheesy as well but I, I really love these ones love to hear what you think about these whether you'd wear them yourself whether you've got one yourself please leave a comment below and this has been the battle of the Casio I don't know what you call these cheapo watches battle of the cheapos really cheap to buy and if they break you just run out and get another one if you liked the video please do consider subscribing liking or sharing the video and please leave a comment below guys i love hearing from you and i love replying thanks for watching guys T till next time take care